It's from Dana Coverstone. I'm gonna raise my hand like an idiot. And FYI, you see that yard roller? If you touch that on a 90 degree day, you'll burn your hand. It's really hot. I think I'm gonna make a banana redemption video. Oh, you know what I did earlier. They don't know what I did earlier. So he's gonna do this. This is a better pain than the other pain. It's still a pain, but it's a better pain. But he's got his chainsaw out over there too, just in case you wonder. Hold please. I have to show you something. I'll read it to you, because I sent it to my mother. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's like 90 degrees today, the day before the 4th of July, and I just woke up from a nap. My husband is at my brother's house cutting wood. He had a big tree cut down today, so they're doing something with a tree and a wood. But I'm looking at my cilantro out here thinking it's time to dehydrate this. Look for that video coming. That will be fun. It's getting quite tall, and I think it's time. And I don't want cilantro back in there because, quite frankly, I'll never use all that cilantro, probably. But I've got chives next to it. I'm going to plant more chives and dehydrate those. Look for that video coming, too. Guess what else I have? I have bananas in the house. I think I'm going to make a banana redemption video. Yeah, that'll be fun, don't you think? Michelle dehydrates bananas. I'm still recuperating from big wedding day. I'm still doing that. I'm still very sore, extremely sore. My feet feel better, my legs feel a little better, but my back is just, it's just, my back will always hurt, it doesn't matter. It, it's not gonna matter, I have a rod in my spine. I'm always gonna have pain. Sometimes the pain is less than others, but that's okay, I deal with it. This pain is a better pain than I had before my surgeries. So if that makes sense to any of you, this is a better pain than the other pain. It's still a pain, but it's a better pain. Oh, hold please. I have to show you something. Ohio, you can have cactuses in Ohio. Let me show you what mine are doing right now. Looky there, I got a flower on my, isn't that beautiful? That is a beautiful flower, beautiful. I watched a YouTube video today. My mom insisted that I watch this and everybody else in the family watch this video and I'm glad that I did. I'm going to share this a little bit with you. It's from Dana Coverstone, Three Pro Prophetic Dreams from Pastor Dana. That's what the video is called. I don't know about you, but lately I've been having the feeling that it's like, it's time to store food. We need to store food. We need to just can and freeze, dehydrate, uh, my husband hunts deer. We need to do whatever we can to get food and just store it, just to have it. Water, water bottles, you know, just, think, just things like that. We, we need to do that. Well, in this video that I watched, this man had a dream. And you need to go watch this video because he'll talk about what the dream was and what is the dreams he's had and how they've come to pass and how this dream just made to you know Noah when he had the ark he was building the ark and all the people were making fun of him and what did God do God sent a flood but Noah warned all the people first this this warning in this video I'll link it below I'm gonna heed this warning we're all gonna heed this warning in my family and he talks about the money and just different things. Well, I went to Sheets, which is a local gas station chain in our area. You might have it in your area too. Posted on the doors and at the registers was, please, we're very, due to, how did it word? Let me, hold on a minute. I'll read it to you because they sent it to my mother. Okay, it said, due to the national change shortage, Please pay with your debit card. You know, things are happening. Things are going on in our world that we aren't all aware of now. And if somebody, a godly man, a pastor, gives us some sort of warning, I think we should take it. You know, you could laugh about it if you want. That's what he said in the video too. You know, you can laugh at me all you want and if it doesn't come true, I'll look like the biggest fool on the internet, but if things come to pass, 
let me let me warn you so we're taking that warning and we're going to stock up on food and other things that we may need because you never know you never know with this covid and the way our government's going now and our country's going what's going to happen so if you're thinking about it start storing up start buying canned goods and just store them in your basement or find a cool place store them up for you and store some up for your family too because if they're not going to heed the warnings and it comes to pass at least you'll have enough for them to you could share you will be able to share and i know i've talked to enough people recently before i even heard this they're like i have this feeling that i should just start canning and start dehydrating and even my husband has said a few things without us even talking and it's like you know what you're right we need to do something i agree with you then i heard this today and it's like yeah we better we better be doing something around here well he's back look what he brought us a truck full of wood and then he's got his other toy out over there it's only 90 degrees oh there's a breeze take that in there's a breeze ready ready do this i can't help him or i would if i was having a better day i'd help him but no today's not that day in fact i probably won't even be able to sit on the four-wheeler with that thing running it'll be shaking too much but he likes to do this and he's got his chainsaw out over there too, just in case you wonder. This was about one sixth of the size of the log. Was it? See how big it is. And it was that was the base of the tree. Yeah, it yeah. But as you can see, our wood pile's gotten low a little bit over there. And FYI, you see that yard roller? If you touch that on a 90 degree day, you'll burn your hand. It's really hot. It's really hot. Learn that. It's steel. Yeah, well, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Hot steel. That's all right. You know what I did earlier? No. Oh, you know what I did earlier. They don't know what I did earlier. I put my contacts in and went and got my nails done and could sworn this contact wasn't in my eyeball. And I came home and I dug all in my eye, all everywhere, up, you know, just looking for the contact. Well, an hour later, I'm outside, I'm thinking, oh, I could see, what is going on? The contact was in my eye. It was actually where it should be. Didn't check there, but it, that's where it was. So I found the missing contact in my eyeball. He was laughing at me, because he's watching me dig all around my eye. Then I went, oh, wait, let me check my eyeball. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, let's get this thing fired up. Oh, yay. Then I think we're going to do chicken on the on the fire pit over there. That sounds like a good plan. Thawing. You can 
see, it's still frozen, and I have it marinating and like garlic and some of my dehydrated onions. Let those punch a powerful pack. Punch a powerful pack. Yeah, they do. So this is still frozen, so I'm not worried about it sitting out here in the sun. But we're planning on cooking it on that thing tonight on this fire pit. Those of you that wonder what my husband can't do, nothing. He's pretty amazing, isn't he? Pretty amazing. Now, the next thing he's going to be doing, the arch that was in my daughter's wedding, I don't know, a few videos back he made that arch. He's going to build a swing for me on that arch, underneath the arch. He has old pallets and stuff that he has saved that is something, I don't know, but he's been saving them. I don't know what it is. He's told me a thousand times. I'm not, well, let's go ask him. Let me go ask him. It's gonna get loud. question for you? I have an answer for you. I have an answer for you too. Okay. Six. The wood that you're going to make the swing out of, what kind is it? The wood I'm making or thinking about making a swing out of it is black walnut. There. Black walnut. Let's all remember that so Michelle doesn't have to. Black mm -hmm. walnut. Okay. That was a skid. I used to work at a plastic place years ago and I used to get that one of our providers used to bring in skids material have these black walnut skids on them black cherry oak okay beautiful skids just a burn i said well hey i brought some home yeah so I did. might as well i don't know if you can see over here he's collected a lot of pallets through the years yes he has all right let's go sit down well uh -huh. we've had quite the day it's been hot we went live for about an hour was fun. Got to talk to all you guys. That was a lot of fun. And he's got his stuff put away. Watch out for the falling logs. And I think we're going to call it a night. Well, we're going to cook. We're going to cook. We're going to cook. I got chicken and I've actually, let me show you. Over here, I've got sweet potatoes. I got sweet potatoes in that pot. Well, that's been on there about a half hour with butter and brown sugar. So we're going to call it a night, eat dinner, and like go take a shower because it looks like I really need one here. It's bad. It's hot out. It's 90 degrees in Ohio today, but it's better now that the sun has gone down. It seems a little bit nicer. All right. Well, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.